Let's talk money. If you want to change the currency inside of high level, there's actually a couple different areas where you can do this depending on your use case. I think I'm going to cover all of them. Um, and so I'll timestamp it down below. If you've got a one, you want to skip ahead and you want to cut time. You could also 2X, but I do talk pretty quickly. Um, but let's jump right into it. So here I am inside of the products area. This is just from the payments menu. Then up at the top, products. If you're trying to change the currency for a product, it's actually super simple. In the pricings tab here, when you're choosing the price of a product, you have the tab to drop down and choose your currency. Pretty phenomenal. Isn't that nice? Uh, pretty straightforward. I will say there's sometimes areas of logic baked into it. So Stripe or different payment processors might have other limitations, but I believe in most of the areas that I've seen, it kind of does the mental gymnastics of the conversion rate. So if you chose a currency that your payment processor isn't set to, it's kind of just doing the conversion between high level and the payment processor there. So if you run into a very unique situation where you're like, Matt, I set it over here, it's still not showing, just let me know in the comments and I will dig into it and chase that down. We actually have a great direct line to uh, uh, high level in Slack because we support thousands of folks inside of high level. And so sometimes something's funky. I'll dig it down for you. But most of the time, this is going to get you taken care of. The other area that I see people like confused about with currency and high level actually has to do with SaaS mode. So if you're trying to change the currency for a SaaS mode plan, there's a V1 and V2. We're going to hop over into the agency dashboard side of things on the SaaS configurator. Um, so this is the V1 for, for SaaS mode. I'm just going to tell you, it's dictated by the categories. So the actual currency for SaaS mode is determined by the categories. If you're creating a new plan, you know, I'm just going to do the Stripe one. And like I said, I'll give you those videos for uh, V1 and V2 of the setup process. There's no real quick way to jump to this other than typing the word quicken is in the category. So here in the category, if I go add new category, you see this is what dictates the currency for a SAS mode V1, uh, you know, plans there. And you see the currency can't be changed after the category has been created. So the only way to change this is to actually change a new category and uh, that will solve the problem for you. So it's usually one of those two. If you're doing products, it's pretty straightforward. If you're doing SAS mode, this is how that is set. I will also say as far as a default, if you're just trying to change the default currency that appears, that is based on location. So like sub-account location, the actual address or the country. Um, and then that can be found inside of the sub-account settings here. I go into settings and the, the company settings, whatever you have listed for the country there. That's where when I went into the product area, you saw it defaulted to USD. That's because this sub-account address is set to the United States. And so it's going to default to USD. But like you saw, you can choose whichever currency that you want currently um, in there. And so if we go to business profile, this is where you can change the actual country that uh, um, that is set. And that does affect some of the, the de defaults that you find in there. If you're trying to learn more about high level, or you run into any other issues, please let me know in the comments. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I'm producing content all the time, keeping you up to date on the latest stuff. And if you want a completely free course on all that high level has got going on from an AI perspective, uh, you can check that out here.